Hello everyone, I know this video will be a bit strange, but I hope you will like it. Let's talk about Genichiro. Who even is he? He is the most interesting and realistically saying the only interesting character from Sekiro. Let's talk about his lore very quickly. His adopted son of Ishin, who was supposed to rule Ashina after Ishin's death. And he is grateful to Ishin for another chance and because of that, he is willing to do everything, like absolutely everything, even to sacrifice his life for the sake of Ashina. For Sekiro, not only he is a bad and sad emo boy who snitched his pocket ghost child, he is Sekiro's rival, basically budget Sasuke and Naruto. In the beginning, both for us, the player, and for Sekiro, Genichiro is extremely hard and looks like he is impossible to beat. After he beats us, we start our journey, and after a while we will meet him on a rooftop. We fight him and after many fail attempts, we finally beat him. He shows us everything, like absolutely everything he is capable of and after that he for a while runs away. After exploring this game for a while, we meet him when we fought him for the first time. And guess what? His character got fucking wasted. First of all, we fight him as a Genichiro way of Tomoe and after we beat him, he gets his daddy out of his body and that was the moment in which Genichiro became a joke for me. Like let's look about it in details. In my opinion, if Genichiro killed himself as soon as we enter in his arena, this will be his peak. If he in the first casting says something like, I will do everything for Ashina, but I know that I'm not strong enough, and after that he pulled Ishin from his body, I won't say even a word. This will be his peak because he already showed us everything he is capable of on a rooftop. He would die as a dude who died in his prime, but in reality something different happened. After each death against Ishin, you for absolutely no reason have to beat Genichiro over and over and over and over and over and over and at some point you will have a feeling that he is just a fucking punch bug who you want to kill as fast as possible. Because not only he can do anything and is weaker than any ninja with red head, there is one asshole who you are trying try harding over and over. Also, not sure if any of you realize that, but unlike Genichiro, Ishin has absolutely no reason to fight us. I am saying this without a joke. He could just walk past us with words like, Sekiro, fuck you and your master, I have Ashina to reconquer. But for absolutely no reason, he decided to fight us, and in the end he lost not only his life, but also Ashina. The very thing that Genichiro wanted to say was destroyed just because Ishin wanted to prove that he is alpha of this gym. If Genichiro was removed from Ishin, he would be number one boss of this game. Easy. But because of Ishin, he is number two, which is uh, funny in a very sad way. Well, type what do you think about this video. Will this? I will say bye bye to you and I will see you next time.